Hey guys, it's Melissa from Silhouette School. I just wanted to show you my new favorite font. It's called Cupid. I mean, how perfect. It's so cute. I, I wanted to show you quickly how to use it. It's really, really easy, especially if you already have Designer Edition where you can easily access those extra characters. So you can see I have extra characters all over this font and they are very, very easy to use. I'm gonna show you um, quickly what you're gonna do. So first thing, you're gonna download the font. This one is from So Fancy, of course. Um, and once you download, unzip, install on your computer, and then restart Silhouette Studio, it will be in your text style panel. So this one, because of the designer's name, she puts her initials in front of them, so they kind of all are grouped together. All of my um, KL fonts are all right here, you can see. So this one is KL Cupid. And if I go over to my text tool and just type something out, let's just type out, um, um, sat, uh, let's do lowercase. Okay, so we've got Sally and Sam, um, and I'm gonna show you um, how you can access them. So first, select your font, and then you're gonna go over to the textile tool and just search it. So like I said, this one's called KL Cupid, all right, and you've got your default um, font there, text there, okay? Now if you wanna add anything, um, any of the special characters in Designer Edition, you can just go to your uh, middle tab here. This is where all the glyphs are, okay? So you can pick whatever you want. So let's say you wanna put the ampersand in between, just back up and then to eliminate the space and then add your ampersand, all right? I'm gonna actually, I hate the line color uh, when it's red, so I always make it transparent. Okay, so let's um, add something to the front. All right, obviously you're not gonna add everything to the same text line, but just to give you an idea, let's add this arrow here, and then at the end, we will add the arrow. There it is, okay? And then let's make another line. This is, um, well, I already typed this out. But if I select, double click in the text box, I can add, there's swooshes, this is the end swoosh, all right? And if you wanted to put something in the middle, they have um, these, there's two heart options, as you can see. I'm gonna enlarge them a little bit so you can see. There's a solid fill heart, and then there's the um, open heart. Let's type something out so you can see that. All right, first you wanna change it to KL Cupid. Okay, then like I said, you wanna to go to your extra characters, double click into the text box to get that green line around. I like to back up so there's no space and then you can add your hearts or whatever it is that you're adding in there. All right, I will zoom in so you can see. And then um, I'll fill it in red so you can see. All right, you will need to weld this to get it to cut without overlapping. If you don't weld it, watch what happens. Uh, let's see, you've got this overlap, okay? Just like any script font, so it won't connect unless you weld. So just make sure that you select it, right click, and weld. And how fun is that font? It's so perfect for Valentine's Day. That's why I wanted to quickly do a little video tutorial for you because I won't be able to get it on the blog soon enough. But I'll share the link with you and you can grab it. It's commercial use. Um, KL Cupid, super cute font with lots of fun little glyphs there.